Hi guys and welcome back. Um, today I wanted to show you something I was working on over the weekend and it's a deviation from what I normally do, more illustrative style. I've been wanting to explore and experiment with different styles. Um, one, because I want to broaden my horizons in terms of my learning and my abilities. And two, is to see what you guys like. So um, at the end of this video, by all means, do give me a shout and let me know what you think. So I think we'll just jump right in. So I started with an A5 piece of watercolour paper, it's hot pressed watercolour paper and I'll explain a little more about that later on. Um, but at the moment, as you can see, I'm just uh, outlining the image uh, using a fine liner micron pen. Some people will like to use inks and brushes and that's fine. Um, I decided to use a pen because I think I'd have more control over it. This is the first type of illustration I've done, um, certainly the first that I've uh, been willing to show the public anyway. I think one of the hardest things about this was uh, with line drawings is capturing someone's likeness without using any shading at this point and just using an outline. I found that really tricky and really difficult, certainly something I'm not used to. So once all the lines are in I used a masking fluid to frame the whole illustration. I use masking fluid when I'm using watercolours because I can paint over it and peel it off uh, at the end and it will give a nice clean crisp white line or mark wherever you put it. So really cheap and easy to get hold of from most art stores as well. I'll link to everything in the uh, description below. So as I mentioned earlier I'm using a hot press watercolour paper and this really holds its shape well when doing washes of colour like you're seeing now. When I was adding the purples and pinks there was no uh, warping of the paper of any kind with traditional watercolour paper what I tend to do is stretch the paper using gum tape so I soak the whole sheet of paper in water, put it on a board and that tends to negate some of the warping when you're doing washes of colour. But with hot press I don't have to do any of that, it kind of looks after itself in that respect. So I got the base colours down, the pinks and the purples and I started putting some textures in just using um, a brush loaded with colour and um, just flicking it onto the page onto the paper, being careful not to cover any of the main area of the image, but just the corners and the background elements. For the face, um, you can tell I was nervous because I'm using the lightest washes possible. They're probably they're barely showing up on camera. Um, but I kept layering it up and layering it up, being careful not to overpower the image too quickly. And at least then I've got a bit of control over how it, uh, how it looks and how it progresses. If I go in with a darker colour then it's going to be a lot harder to take it off. Also the great thing about flesh tones is you can put them in lighter and build them up gradually and you get quite a nice blend so it's not such a harsh line. Some people do like to um, allow the pigments to bleed and the different elements of the, the illustration to bleed in together but I prefer a more precise approach to my drawing. I decided quite quickly that I needed to darken some of the colours because they were just they were just losing themselves against the background and I also think the outline of the image was just too uh, too thin, it, it didn't feel like it was standing out enough um, so I tried to inject a bit more colour into those areas, so like the pink hair and the, uh, the, the blue hair, the glove etc. Just to try and make that uh, pop a little bit off the page certainly against the bright background. The inks I used to uh, do the outlines are actually waterproof so it doesn't matter how much colour I lay over them um, they'll pretty much stay the same um, which is the great thing about doing a light line drawing uh, you can then add colour on top and you can start to decide where you want the outline to show and where you want the colour to take over. I think it's really important to get that balance or certainly it was for me when doing this to manage the expectation of it looking how I wanted it to but also still keeping the illustrative style. I'm I'm always trying to strive for realness in my drawings and this was a real deviation from that so trying to meet my expectations and my own personal objectives with it while still trying to create something that looked like an illustration was really difficult for me. So it was the, at this point where I was thinking it just isn't popping enough, as I said earlier, I just didn't think it was jumping off the page. So I actually went over it with a um, uh, with a thicker pen, went around the outline, and I felt that really worked. I think it completely changed the dynamic of the image. 
I'd actually left a few areas of the image without any ink on because I was unsure how I wanted to manage them. Uh, the bracelets and such were gold in the source material I was using and so I left them blank. I was thinking maybe I'll use a gold pen, see how that works, um, or some gold paint. But ultimately I felt it needed an, uh, an outline of some description. And I think that's an interesting thing with this, um, with this experiment. I'm calling it an experiment because it is new to me, is it felt like it was evolving all the time. Whereas my other drawings have a real clear uh, outcome in my head. I know what I want it to look like because usually I'm copying a photograph or something like this. With this it was very different and so there was room for it to change and evolve over time and I think that really, there was a, there was a nice feeling about that, there was, a, there was less pressure and I was able to go in and do other things with it and change it as I went along. To ensure I had all of the uh, detail I wanted in it I used um, a gold uh, modelling paint. Uh, for the for the bracelets and I also started to use the white highlighter pen just to start to pick out different areas of the image that I wanted to pop off the page and have a stronger whiter outline. Certainly I think that worked well against the harsh um, black outline of the actual illustration itself. Those white edges and white highlights really uh, created an element of definition. I was slightly annoyed at myself for leaving the baseball bat to the end because there were some really lovely textures in it and I feel at this point I was starting to rush it. I could see it was getting close to being finished. Um, I'm really impatient sometimes when I'm drawing. Um, my mind works faster than my hands can go with regards to painting. So I still feel that, that, uh, that the baseball bat is unfinished in some way. So even at the end, as we're coming to the end, I'm still trying to find the right colour. Uh, at the top I'm adding more pink and I'm experimenting with different washes. Um, I was going to have it, this uh, dripping effect over the over the entire thing but I changed my mind last minute, I got nervous so uh, I had to wash it all into the and blend it uh, at the top. And it's at that point I called it a day, I thought I don't want to go ahead and ruin it, I, I think it's about done. But I'm, I'm definitely pleased with the outcome, I think it's um, it was an interesting challenge for me, it was something I hadn't done before. Certainly with regards to using the techniques that I'm used to in a very different manner and applying them to something that is um, deviation from my normal sort of artistic style. But I gotta say I really enjoyed it and um, if you guys like it I'd certainly like to feature more of these videos in the future. I'm currently working on another one as, uh, as you're watching this um, so I'm, I'm excited to show you that one as well and I think I've already started to learn so much about this style and how to apply it in an illustrative way. But uh, as always, um, do let me know what you think in the comments. If you want to see a particular character or um, a particular drawing, let me know. As always, links to everything I use will be in the description, so you can try it for yourselves. Um, if you do try it for yourselves, give me a shout, send things over, I'll be happy to feature them in future videos if you want me to. Um, but until next time, happy drawing, and I'll see you all soon.